So we are here with head coach Heather McKay, Mackenzie Schnorr, and Emma Hag. Fresh after a loss to TCNJ in the NCAA second round, 14-6. to So, Coach, I was just asking for your opening statement. Um, just first, thank you for to TCNJ for hosting. You guys have been great. And, um, yeah, it was, it was a great experience and just really thankful for um, the work you all have done. And, um, yeah, it stinks to lose. So um, it's always hard when it ends, but doesn't take away how proud I am of these women and um, the things that they have overcome this season. So it's hard, hard way to end, hard to lose, but doesn't change how I feel about each one of them. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, it's never the best thing to lose, but there's always silver linings to take away from that. So going with that, uh, now having reached the NCAAs for the third year in a row, has this become the standard for Miss Iowa Cross? I mean, we're always in the hunt to be better than we were the day before. And so it's um, the hunt of us reaching our potential and, and um, really growing and learning. That's, that's the standard that we're, we're after. And um, there's just a lot more um, things to focus on. So um, I think it's about how we can... Um, yeah, grow through each challenge, and then and uh, the results will hopefully come with that. So, of course, it makes us hungry to be able to be back here again, for yes, sure. Yes, absolutely. And Mackenzie, great game for you today. Two goals, one assist. So, talk about the season overall and uh, just how it feels to be back at the NCAAs for the third year in a row. You know, you doing all three of those. Yeah. Um, I think at the beginning of this year, we have a, a heavy freshman class and a heavy upperclassman uh, seniors. So I think it was really important for us to just make everyone feel valued on the team and on the field and just come together and play as one. Um, so that's what we were chasing after this entire year. Just how can we show up at practice each day and push for something better? Um, and like, how can we move forward from a loss or a challenge and just keep improving each day, um, making the adjustments we need to make. Um, and I definitely think that we did that for the most part this season. And I'm really proud of the team and their fight. And um, there's just a lot of love for each other on this team. And so I'm really thankful to be a part of it. And yeah. Yeah, it's great to see that, especially like you said, when there's two heavy laden classes, uh, some of those being upperclassmen, underclassmen, sometimes you can tend to see a divide. So the fact that you guys are able to come together so closely is a real testament to you all. And Emma, also a great game for you as well. Uh, just moving towards the future, talking about, you know, how uh, Mackenzie mentioned, you know, graduating some experience and bringing back a lot of experience as well. Uh, a lot of the freshmen getting a lot of playing time this year. So uh, how does it feel, you know, like having, a, I guess, experience now under your belt and getting ready to come back into the seasons ahead? We are going to miss our seniors a lot. And there's going to be some really big shoes to fill, but we do have a young team. And I don't doubt that everyone can step up and fill in those roles. Um, it's definitely going to be a loss, and we're going to miss them dearly. But I know with the, with the young team that we have, we're always up for the challenge. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much, and great job today. Thank you. Thank you.